Disruption. Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. Big Brother. Mainstream media. Government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. Coming up, Scalia says court upholding traffic stops based on anonymous tip of freedom destroying cocktail. He also has attacked Sotomayor. He faults her for doubly shameful suggestion that Michigan voters are racist for voting to end affirmative action. IRS revokes conservative groups tax exempt status over anti-Clinton statements, but Reverend Wright can have his tax exemption and talk about banning the Second Amendment and GDing America and all the rest of it. It's just incredible. Uh, that is all coming up. The latest on the Russia situation is U.S. troops began massing in and around Russia. Dutch scramble fighter jets after Russian bombers approach. AP, the Dutch Defense Department, says several NATO member countries scramble jets today after a pair of Russian bomber planes approached the airspace over the North Sea. The Dutch ministry identified the planes as two Russian Tu-95 Bears and said it had uh, launched two F-16s and a Volkl Air Base to intercept them. The Russian jets were escorted by aircraft from the Netherlands, Britain, and Denmark until they departed. So that's the ongoing uh, escalation, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, continuing uh, here, we're going to get more into exclusive. Texas AG Abbott to BLM, come and take it. That's from Breitbart. Republicans warn uh, BLM eyeing land grab along Texas border. We have the official letter up on Infowars.com from the Attorney General. We're going to try to get him on the show. I know he's been on years ago, going back when he was a state rep. Uh, so we've got uh, that news. Uh, again, I just mentioned this, but I want to get your take specifically on the Russia situation and the Ukraine situation. Where do you think that's going? How do you think we fix this and de-escalate it? Because stage one is, say, they want a new Marshall Plan to prop up Ukraine after they overthrow it and destabilize it to, as a new banker bailout in Europe by another name. And then it's also meant to destabilize Russia, put missiles on their borders, start a new Cold War. What do you think about that? I want to hear from military personnel, because when this all started in the last three months, we said, you know, Russia would take those areas on their border. Then they would send in Ukrainians against them, pro-West Ukrainians, pro-Soros Ukrainians, and that that would then escalate. The Russians would start fighting back. And then if the West got heavily involved with military action or advisors, the Russians may start launching attacks with their regular military. And then all hell is going to break loose. So this is a very volatile situation. This is not Iraq or Libya where the the controlled U.S., the occupied U.S. with the collaborators uh, just, um, you know, goes into some third world country and puts Al-Qaeda on the ground and murders everybody. And then the public's so dumb and disconnected from reality, you know, they think that the government's fighting Al-Qaeda. This is the Russians, despite all their problems, they're a sophisticated civilization, have a lot of high-tech weapons, uh, and will tend to fight back, which I know is the arch crime, according to George Soros, Folks didn't fight back too much when he was in Romania running uh, the Nazi squads to hunt down Jews and steal their goods. That's why he gets ADL awards. If you're against that type of thing, you get attacked by the ADL. I'm not even joking when I say that. It's so bizarre how sick this society is. And now Soros is backing Nazis again. The main group leading the Ukrainian opposition to the Russians is a ultra-national socialistic, our media calls them right-wing, uh, Nazis including the vice president, and it's not even in our news. It's just, I, I saw a CNN article the other day about why the West is is trolling Al-Qaeda. And the article's, we're working with them because, you know, it's best to talk to them. And, yeah, we're using them against uh, Syria because, you know, they're kind of nice guys now. Soon it'll be, you're a traitor for not supporting Al-Qaeda, Jones. You piece of trash. What's next? You're not going to support the communist Chinese? What type of American are you, you filthy Texan? What, you don't like to attack dogs and tasering men, women, and innocents out at the BLM? You don't like free speech zones? 
What type of sick freak are you? We're going to give the number out and take your calls. From the water table to our soils to the atmosphere itself, our world is becoming more and more toxic each and every day. But it's not just the air outside that's toxic. Indoor air has been shown to have two to five times higher concentrations of pollutants than even outdoor air. And most Americans spend 90% of their time inside using toxic chemicals within their homes. There are more than 42 million smokers in the United States. Well over a thousand types of mold and mildew linked to numerous conditions. And don't forget the fact that six million Americans live with pets they're allergic to as well. When I began to research these statistics, it was clear to me it was time to start cleansing my lungs in order to combat the toxic environment that we cannot escape but that we can fight back against. Made with organic and wild cultivated herbs and manufactured in the USA, the new InfoWars Life Lung Cleanse is here in a convenient spray bottle that can be brought with you throughout any toxic environment. Now available exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com or by calling toll-free 888-253-3139. In the last 50 years, iodine has been phased out of our staple foods and replaced with the halogen bromine, a practice now banned in nations around the world. Guess what else is in the halogen family? Fluoride. Ladies and gentlemen, Alex Jones here. In 1924, the federal government did the right thing and encouraged salt producers to add iodine. It's the good halogen on the periodic table. And the results are on record, reports documented, a 15-point IQ increase in areas that had previously been deficient in iodine. Bottom line, iodine is important. Unbound, clean, in a glycerin base, nascent iodine was the answer for myself and my family. You will find Survival Shield nascent iodine exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com. InfoWars Life Survival Shield nascent iodine isn't just for emergencies. I take it every day. That's InfoWarsLife.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139. The globalists have controlled the mainstream media for a long time, but now they're expanding and making the weaponization even more vicious and deceptive. All the major networks are state-run. We are partnering this year with the NFL. The NFL has become a political weapon against the Second Amendment and pushes Obamacare. MSNBC tells us that our children belong to the state. We have to break through our kind of private idea that kids belong to their parents or kids belong to their families and recognize that kids belong to whole communities. It is more important than ever to realize that we are not the alternative media. We are the true media. The establishment dinosaur press is dying. We are in an information war, and we are losing that war. Join us at InfoWarsNews.com and PrisonPlanet.tv. Members can share their memberships with up to 11 people. By subscribing, you will literally be buying war bonds in the info war to expand our operation in the face of the tyrants. Join us at PrisonPlanet.tv. From his Central Texas Command Center, deep behind enemy lines, the information war continues. It's Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. Coming up, antibiotic-resistant MRSA superbug spreads into homes. We're going to be getting into that report. Fire hoses are turned on Obama supporters. NBC News uh, is... Uh, reporting. The Dutch have scrambled fighter jets after Russian bombers have approached their airspace, AP reports. Putin is moving more troops up against uh, the Ukrainian border as the Pentagon deploys troops to thwart Russia. According to the Pentagon, moving them into Poland and other areas as the CIA and mercenaries help run attacks against Russian-held areas inside eastern Ukraine. This is an incredible escalation. Coming up, I want to get into Pentagon plans to replace flight crews with full-time robots. That's the Washington Times. China challenging Obama's Asia pivot with rapid military buildup. An incredible story that I want to cover some in the next hour uh, with the Hagmans uh, from the Homeland Security Report when they come on with us. Benghazi attack could have been prevented if U.S. hadn't switched sides in the war on terror and allowed 500 million in weapons to be given to al-Qaeda militants reveals damning new report. That's the Daily Mail. I know you've heard that a lot here, but now this is in big mainline publications. And a video and audio we're going to play. TSA's back at it, groping your two-year-old babies. And at the bottom of the hour, after we take some phone calls, Brian Singer sex abuse. 
Accuser names three more Hollywood bigwigs in lawsuit. John Bowen filed a report called Triple X X-Men for the nightly news last night. I want to air that here and give you my take on this situation. And again, some of the big Hollywood people that have gone public saying this have contacted our office three years ago, two years ago, but they didn't have proof. And I'm not going to break allegations if there's not proof. The police, though, won't do their job. That's coming out, the FBI and others. So that's why it, it's hard to vet all this. But when you find out that these guys are friends with admitted convicted pedophiles, it starts looking real bad. Starts looking real bad. And, you know, I've been at big Hollywood parties and things. That's why I don't, I haven't been out there in years, and I won't go out there probably ever unless I've got to be in some big, you know, TV show or something I think is worthwhile. But, I mean, you'd be at big parties, and somebody's like, that guy's a total creep. And, like, what do you mean? Just, oh, man, he's, you know, and that guy, that guy likes kids, and that guy likes kids. And I'm like, I, I don't want to hear this. I don't want to hear this. And that's why I won't get anywhere near there, folks. And it's, it, it's, it's sick. And then you look at all the British ministers getting caught. There's a reason all this is coming out now, though, folks. I believe, not the people bringing it out, I think they're good, but the reason it's being brought out right now is to blackmail and keep Hollywood on a short leash. That's why they get these people to compromise themselves, Bohemian Grove, you name it. And the Jimmy Savelle in England, you know, David Icke was naming names 10 years ago on my show. And I said, do not name names. Because even though the guy looked like the archetype of a pedophile, the archetype of a disgusting degenerate, uh, you know, David Icke was saying they were bringing kids into the prime minister's office to slit their throats. And then now it's all coming out. So I'm going to cover that at the bottom of the hour. And then we'll continue with your calls. The toll-free number to join us on the issue of Russia. I want to hear from military, former military, current military, or Ukrainians, Poles, Germans, Russians. I want to hear from active duty, retired, contractors that have worked and lived in Ukraine. Now that the, the, the Russian foreign minister is saying, if you attack any Russian-held cities that we say are ours... In eastern Ukraine, we're going to respond with military action in Europe, just like we did in South Ossetia. They rolled mobile ICBMs in, and he went on television with the chairman of their Joint Chiefs and said, we're going to start targeting NATO bases with nukes in one hour. Pull back, and NATO pulled back. I mean, this is crazy. And I'm not on the Russian side. I'm not on the George Soros side. I have nothing against the Western Ukrainians that have big beasts with Russia. Or the Russian Ukrainians who have big beefs with the Western groups. I'm not in the middle of this tribal warfare. I don't have any Ukrainian blood in me. I'd be happy to. They're really good looking people. The point is, is that I just look at it objectively and geopolitically and say, is it a good idea to stir up this hornet's nest? And who stands to gain? Who's at the middle of it? George frickin' Soros again. The same guy who wants my guns. The same guy funding Media Matters that wants to shut down my free speech. The same guy who was a Nazi collaborator, so he gets ADL awards. I mean, I'm sick of the ADL. I'm sick of George Soros. I'm sick of authoritarians masquerading as, as humanitarians. The Southern Poverty Law Center, all of it. I want justice for Israel. I want justice for England, for Mexico, for South Africa, for everybody. I just want freedom. I'm sick of the crisis state. I'm sick of globalists stirring up garbage and playing both sides off against each other. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of you people creating nanotech and GMO, ruining the biosphere on record, creating all sorts of crises, and then posing as environmental saviors. I'm sick of you. I want a future. I want justice. I'm, I, I'm sick of you saying how good you are all day when you're so horrible. You want to teach American kids two plus two equals five. I mean, you people are horrible, and you've gotten away with everything. You went for it all, you got it all. And now you want to make sure we're all poor so you can feel sleep at night knowing we're poor and in the ditch. Because you want us miserable. You are scum. Now, toll-free number to join us, 800-259-9231. But I said I'd do this yesterday, I never did it. I played a compilation of some of the clips, the 15 minutes. I want to play five minutes of the, of the intro of the demonization of liberty movement on MSNBC, where they call us insurgents, terrorists, you name it. 
demonized that there's even a press. Because remember, we now have all these Clinton documents where in 93 they were trying to shut down the Western Journalism Center and Media Bypass.